Hi, welcome back. We got cut off and I ran out of tape. Uh, now this is number series number uh, four. This is part number seven. Um, I was working on the tassel back here showing you how to make the circle and the two lines. Once you have that put on there, what you're going to do is you're going to put a stop cut at the very bottom. Let me get the other knife. You need a little, little better knife than that. Okay, what we're going to do is put a stop cut and undercut it. And you can do the other part once you're off, off line. So what we're going to do is go all the way from the bottom like that. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the two lines, put up fairly deep, and then I pull it up so it's not so deep at the top. Push it down, pull it up like that. Okay. And you're going to follow this little circle till it matches the one cut on the bottom, like so. And that corner right there needs to be really distinct. Okay. I mean, you really got to have that pronounced. Okay, now you're gonna go back and you're gonna go back and cut all that out. You might have to do a couple of passes which is fine. Okay, see what I mean right there at that corner it should. Get a little bit smaller knife. Sometimes it works with Sometimes a smaller knife just cuts into things a little nicer. As you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, and then you're going to do the other side. You're just going to cut it up. Okay. You don't want to pull off things too much because sometimes you can tear the wood out and stuff. See where that's focused right there. It's hard to adjust this camera all the time because my hands move up and down and trying to see it. Well, tougher since it's been smaller to work on. And I believe my next one I'm going to do a snowman. Um, just show you guys. This will be in the next. This will be feature number number five. So uh, series number five. So hopefully we'll get one of these going just to give you a preview of what we're going to be working on once we're done with this guy. And then. Uh, I think I'm going to take a break for a little bit and then see if we can also get a songbird done. Alright, so there's, we're going to do a variety of things, uh, but the Santas are my major um, major carving uh, teaching that I do, so the one I'm more, most comfortable with. I'm comfortable with most of them, but this one is because I've done so many of them. Alright, so once we cut that out, we're going to put a little stop cut at the top like so. Alright, cut that out and then we're going to match that. We're going to follow that circle and take the corner of the blade and do that side and the other side straight down. We're going to cut that little corner out. Okay, see how we're getting this thing to come out? Okay, over here and cut another little piece out. You have to put a couple stop cuts, that's fine. Then we're going to blend everything in, just like so. Alright. Just kind of round that off a little bit at the top. You know, don't be discouraged. You know, the small ones are a little tougher to do. They're a little fun to do, too, because it doesn't take as much cutting. But it's uh, definitely harder to see, for especially if you're older like we are, like I am. You know, I'm... Wearing the magnifying glasses a little bit now. I never used to have to do that in the past. Uh, but that's just part of the age, I guess. Alright. I really want to thank again those folks of, uh, of you that have sent pictures in and of your Santas that you had worked on on the series. I encourage you to send them to me if you would please do that for me. I'd really love to see the work that you've been doing. And don't feel bad if it's not exactly what you think, or if it's your first one, I'd be delighted to see it. And I was very delighted to see the ones that I've gotten so far. Excellent work. And you know, they all look different. So, okay. 
So that's how the tassel is done. Let's go back to the front and uh, I'm going to finish up the tree here a little bit. What I did just to give the tree some some extra look, you know, um, different look to it, I put these little lines in. I did that with all the all of it. So I put one major branch at an at like a curvature, okay, and then do the other one the other way a little bit, just like that, okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to put two lines like that, two lines like that, and one, two one, two like little branches going off and here we're just gonna one, two, one, two, maybe a third one there, okay? Just like this here. Alright, so what we do is we're doing a stop cut at an angle, so we're gonna push, push it in, pull it down, just like we do the beard, same technique and I follow all the lines everywhere. Just be careful you don't chip anything out. Take your time. I can do it a little quicker because I've had some <laughs> years of experience with it. You know, it takes a little time to learn how to do this. You can also use a V tool if you're comfortable with that. If you have one, um, the one thing with with doing it with a knife, they all the lines all look a little different. They're all different sizes and shapes, and I'll go back and get rid of that with an eraser, a good eraser. Okay, so you go back and take care of all that. All right, and I'm gonna do the rest of this offline. And do your center, you know, go back and do all your little V-cuts and erase them off. And then when we come back, we'll finish up the beard and uh, the eyebrows and the one ridge on the bottom. And then we'll, we'll be done with another uh, Santa before we have to paint it. Okay? So take care of that and finish up your tassel if you need to clean it up a little bit. And then we'll, we'll be back uh, for series uh, part number eight.